Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Twisted Koi. And I've been sat trying to put this video together for the last few days now. And uh, I'm going to have to put this in first because we're going to have to jiggle it about a bit, especially the way we recorded uh, what we did on Friday. So what I'm going to do now, before I go any further, I would just like to say a massive thank you to, to everyone that... Uh, got involved with the ground show with the difference we've had some amazing results some absolutely amazing results and we can't wait until we start the next one next year but what you're going to see next is photos and videos of all the fish that were sent in for judging uh, judging was done by myself the lesser spot of Ricardo and Mr Alan Tate and uh, as you will see later on in the video what happens there so uh, sit back flick through watch the car crash that is me and ricky at the end thank you everyone that joined in hope everyone enjoyed it hope everyone got what i thought they'd get out of it as well as some nice fish some experience some more knowledge and most of all enjoyment of the hobby so on that note guys I'm going to leave you with the roundup of the fish and then on to the video that me and Ricky done on Friday. Catch you later. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Twisted Koi. You've got <laughs> New Forest Koi Farm. Pause. Uh. In before we got rudely interrupted. Welcome back to Twisted Koi at New Forest Koi Farm. And we are here to talk about the growing show with a difference and the results. So I will pass you over to Rick first. Well, first we need the introduction, which should be photos. So we've got obviously the two parent fish we used. The fish were spawned on April the 12th, I believe, sent to everyone on May the 12th, four weeks old. Um, excellent job, everyone. Everyone's done, I think we had 30 come back, so from 50, from 50 pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty much everyone did fairly well, to some degree. Some people kept them all, some people thinned them down and grew them on. Um, but yeah, we're just literally going to do a video, so this will link to a photo and a video of everyone's fish that got sent back. Yep. And at the end of that, we will then do uh, the top three, top three prizes. So yes, and we'll just pause there. Sure. Okay, so um, in third place, we have fish D, which was 34 centimeters. So one of the biggest of the lot. Deutsche mm -hmm. for Artie's Koi. Steve Artis. Steve Artis. Well done, Steve. Place, mate. Absolutely. Backing fish. Superb fish. Um, the only reason it was third and perhaps 
look first really is the body shape's not quite so good. Tucks in a little bit towards just the back end. Just a tiny little bit. But yeah, I've obviously got it here. You'll see it overlaid, hopefully on this video. Yeah. <laughs> if your editing skills are up to it. Um, so yeah, that was unanimous. All three of us chose that. Um, myself, Alan and Vince. Basically all three, all three fish that were chosen as the top three, we all chose the same fish yeah. without knowing what other people have chosen. So um, yeah, well done Steve for that, that's that's banging. Yep. Second place we had fish B, B which was not such a big fish. Um, yeah. I had it down as a 20 centimetre fish. It actually was 25 centimetres, so it, it came second, even though Alan thought it was smaller, Vince thought it was smaller, yeah. um, and that's Vince, uh, Fish B, which was Jeff Harfield's Kajaku. Absolute cracking, just stonking fish. Um, again, slightly smaller than some of the other fish, but yeah, quality wise, was absolutely superb. Um, so, yeah, well done, Jeff. Second place for yourself, and a unanimous winner for everyone was Dave at Orchard Coy, mate. Absolutely, Mate. you'll see the picture should come up. Kinshawa, banging, top yeah. top fish, better than. We'll overlay a few of mine somewhere in this maybe. Yeah. Um, if I don't, I'll put them on the end. But yeah, best fish, better than any, but better than mine. Best fish of the lot. Yeah. Well, without made. a shadow of yeah. a doubt. And considering, right at the start, Rick did have his doubts on the way that you were raising the fry. But, mate, speak, results speak for themselves. So, I mean, yeah, top marks, mate. It's, yeah, it's an absolute stunning fish. Well looked after, well grown. Hopefully you'll keep it for a few years, take it to a show and <laughs> do yeah, better with it. But yeah, I mean, the, the upshot of the thing, you'll see the level of fish is quite varied. Heat, heat has been the biggest thing. Those that have heated yeah. have had much better results. There's just, no, there's just not a question. And then obviously, diets have had an influence and whatever and those that have managed to fill them down so yeah all in all it's been great everyone that been involved this time will get first choice of next year's which is airing towards Sankey but we don't know yet um Vince don't want to <laughs> uh, but yeah hopefully yeah so we'll overlay pictures and stuff yeah so this might make some sense so everything will make some sense so third prize, uh, third and second place. Uh, yeah, sorry. So third place will get a twenty-five pound gift voucher. Second will get a fifty pound gift voucher, and the first place will get a hundred pound. I thought gift vouchers that way you can buy food if you don't want fish. You can use it towards next time's event if you want to do it. Yeah. So well done you three. Well done everyone. To be fair, yeah. we we're going to mention a couple of special mentions. Seska's fish. I think if you could have had better video and photographs, yeah, then it's so hard to see. You would have been you would have been in the, in the running then, but it was so hard to see it properly because of that red umbrella you had above. Uh, yeah, whatever it was, but yeah, I mean, Seska did phenomenal. The average size and whatever. Yeah, um, there was a Gin Matsuba from Alex Rhodes. I Alex believe. Rhodes, yeah, the Gin Gin Matsuba was absolutely stunning, and both myself and Alan Tate. Both ummed and ahed over that one. I, in, well, we, we had to pick three, and we had four. Uh, but it wasn't until we saw the video that we realised that it does pinch in a little bit towards the end. But the quality on it quality is was absolutely amazing. The skin lustre, the quality of the Siroji and the Matsuba one was just it's just that body shape was just that little bit pinched in at, at the back end, which tipped the scales, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I'd say it's been a good event. Yeah. We've enjoyed it. I hope everyone's enjoyed it. This I might make some I sense. I really hope everyone's enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the interaction that we've had with 75%, I would say, the group in the, in the Telegram group. And it, it's nice to see uh, a little community there starting to, to build because everyone's in there chatting in there all day long, on and off. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll get more we'll in the group for, for, next, for next, year. next year's one because any new people that join the uh, the Grow Show next year will be added to the, the the group that we've got. So the group will exponentially get bigger over over time. And hopefully we'll learn or we'll see what we'll do is we'll try and put a piece on as well onto this video, or maybe as a later one, 
as who's done best and what obviously diets they've used, the temperatures they've grown them at, yeah. the amount they've cold, so people know for next year. I think the one the one thing we'll do next year is going to be less fish per person. People, yeah. people have struggled to do the thinning yeah. down and that's led to some people with way too many fish too long. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start 100 fish per person next year and have 100 people taking part. So. Yeah. Hey, but we, we've got we've got one who joined who has still got the same amount of fish that she yeah. that she had arrived. So I mean, a few just to, to keep yeah, every cool. single one alive is uh, a testament to itself, even though they're not going to grow that big. No, so, no. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they've done well, but yeah, yeah, without thinning them down, you'll never get the same result. So, right, absolutely. As always, ladies and guys, guys and girls, I've been Twisted Cree. He's been the lesser spotted Ricardo. Thank everyone for who, uh, thank you everyone who took part. And uh, we're going to take two without the dog, shall we? I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, they've got them. They've got on one, haven't they? So we will catch you later. That's the money shot. That is a hell of a bowl of fish mm. from those 200. Well, I've got a great deal to choose from, but I quite like the pattern on this one. Aragoki scales. Head shape seems okay. Pecs looking good. Fairly balanced pattern. So that's the one I've chose. And he's just over 20.
four CM. Really so, this is my final choice. In my eyes, that's my winner. It's got fantastic pecs, lovely patterning across its back. It's got some black in the tail as well. I think it's got a good body shape. It's got a head pattern. And I'm assuming, and I don't know, but I'm assuming that is a shower of some description. Because <laughs> it's got Benny, Soroji and Sumi on the head. So, that is my final choice. Done. Like a kipper. So I'm trying to get rid of the reflection, but I'm not letting enough light in. And it measures 20 cm. Oops. Get a bit of light in over the back. Good deportment, I think, as well. If that's a thing in fish. Well, there you go. My final choice.
Da 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 that's all cupcakes! Yes, makes it all worth it.